In this video, we're going to have a look at pushing files from Inventor to Revit. To start out, we're going to simplify our model using a shrink wrap. We're going to create a shrink wrap substitute inside of Inventor. And by creating the shrink wrap substitute, we can remove certain components. And depending on the geometry uh, in this example, for instance, we're going to remove the small bolts. Um, using the shrink wrap tool, we can obviously preview what's going to happen when we remove these bolts. We also might want to then um, increase the number. So for instance, at 8%, we remove more components. You can also remove components by actual size. In this example, though, we've removed just enough to still have the connectors that we want and um, still simplify the model. We can then go and patch holes. So we can go and patch all the holes that have been left and we can fill all voids. So we land up with a very simplified model. We get a preview. You can see all the patches being applied, the sort of greenish color there. Um, and in a couple of seconds, the, um, the file will generate a new part file, and we now have our simplified model. With our simplified model created, we can now go into our um, Environments tab, click on BIM Exchange, and inside of our BIM Exchange, we can now go and use our pipe connectors for this example, or conduits, or whatever we needed in other um, for other disciplines. We can specify direction of this connector. We can specify a size for this connector. And once we've done that, we can then decide on what kind of um, pipe this is going to be from our drop down list, the predefined uh, components. So all the information we need to pass this to the BIM model. And in this example, we'll then add in the outlet. And again, same process is repeated. Once we're happy with that, we can see our pipe um, connectors there. We can then check our design. This tells us if there's any errors and shows us that our geometry is good. And we can then export our building components. Now you'll see straight away our components are orientated differently. We can change the orientation to um, match the model orientation. Puts the component up the right way around. Once we're happy, everything looks OK. We can run another check just to make sure we're happy everything still looks good, we'll say OK and um, choose a location to save the file. We're now going to save out the ADSK file. So this is going to publish our 2D views for Revit. It's also going to publish our 3D views and our pipe information that we've just created. Um, the publish probably takes a few seconds. It does depend on the complexity of the model. Right, and once this um, publish is completed, we will then um, be prompted to see a report. We say yes to the report, fires up in our internet browser, we can see everything was successful, we can see all of the data that we've applied to the model as well. We then open up Revit, or finish our BIM exchange, we can then open up Revit, and um, we can just go and open the ADSK file. Revit opens ADSK files as native. See the orientation is the same as our export, and we say OK. The model's actually opened in a 3D view. And there's our model. And if we just rotate it around a little bit, you'll actually see there's some arrows and some information showing the piping information that we've specified inside of Inventor. Just zoom up to those. So over there. And if we double click on that, we'll actually see in our browser on the left hand side all of the information that we specified in Inventor has come through into Revit, which is great. We'll also see that during our publish, um, we now have the views of the component already generated as well. So we have um, all of our elevations available. and our 3D view as well. Thanks for having a look.